Lee Anderson. Well, yeah, thank, you, thank you, Chair. Um, and I'd like to welcome the Ministers to their new roles. Mm, and, thank uh, you. But I'm not going to hold back, Ministers, and uh, <laughs> welcome Mr Hobbs. Now, look, we sat here a couple of weeks back with the uh, permanent uh, Home <coughs> Secretary and his assistant, and the Chair's quite right. They were evasive and uh, almost slippery in their in their replies to this committee, disrespectful to this committee, in that they came with no figures. Now, I think it's a little bit disrespectful, Dan, uh, Mr Hobbs, that you must have actually watched them that meeting or looked at mm -hmm. some of it and you saw the questions that were asked and you're being asked the same questions now and you still don't have the answers. I think that's disrespectful. But I'll go to the ministers first. The, uh, Mr Rycroft and, and Mr Ridley, who, to my knowledge, didn't answer one simple, single question throughout the whole session. Now, I want to know, ministers, <coughs> have they been spoken to? by the ministerial team, what com if they have, what conversations have you had, and do you think it would be a good idea to put these pair into special measures? Uh, Mr. Anderson, may, may I address that, and yeah. I know you're not going to hold back, you don't, uh, and nor should you, because uh, you're entitled to ask your questions in your own way, and it is a unique and uh, very effective style, if I may say so. Um, in response to the questions that you asked, there was a follow-up letter and there was a response that was received last night. Yes, I saw there was further a joint committee, which Dame Diana referred to in the Chamber of the House of Commons uh, yesterday as well. There was a further uh, follow-up <coughs> to that, and yes, I have seen that, and I have seen the response, and you heard my response to Dame Diana. Um, my view and the way I've always conducted myself is to be professional, to be prepared for <coughs> meetings, for colleagues, to be respectful to colleagues. Um, but I do caveat that with from time to time there will be very specific questions that are asked, whether of officials or whether of ministers, and I'm not going to sit here and say I've got an answer when I don't, respectfully, um, Mr Anderson, whether to you or, or to anyone else. Um, I agree with you. If you ask questions two weeks ago to which you have not had a satisfactory answer, um, then I'll make sure that, that does not happen again. 